Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today for you, I'm going to be swatching the new Zoya Natural 4 collection, which is kind of an ongoing series for them. Basically, a few years ago, they started creating these natural collections, which were smaller, like half size collections compared to their usual size. And they were supposed to be kind of like neutral colors, a lot of skin tones, and they've just varied a lot over the years. This is the first one that I feel like doesn't necessarily 100% um kind of go with the whole natural vibe that they originally started with anyways maybe they're taking it in more of a color direction now but i think it's a really pretty collection and there's a lot of good neutrals even though they are colors they're like good muted shades i would say and then we do have a really fun topper or builds upon polish so today we're swatching those there are i believe what did i say like five polishes that are like creams and then we have one that is not but is kind of universal the first shade that we're looking at is called Evelyn, and this is a very milky shade, I would say. It's it's not a white. It has, like, a slight lavender hint to it, but it's also, like, I, I can't really say, like, it's a lavender or it's a pink, but it is definitely a shade of a white, just tinted, and it has a nice formula covered well in two coats. Then we have Cami, which is definitely more of a mauve pink super light mauve pink shade it also has a really nice formula and covers in two coats i feel like it's been a while since i've used a zoya polish so i feel like you always kind of have to get back into the groove of using a smaller brush definitely when i've been using a ton of bigger brushes lately i really do wish they would just make their bigger brushes their default brushes but we'll see <laughs> this one is called it buried and this one is leaning more on the purpley side it's a very much of a muted purple shade which i think is really pretty i'm into the dusty purple nail polish trend i really like that and i think it looks really nice on this one has a really good formula i liked this one probably the best actually it, it just like i don't know it was just really nice it went on super smooth and it was perfect in two coats even though all of them were then we have Vivian, which is a bit more of a darker shade of purple. I'm having like this weird issue with my camera, whereas when I'm not painting my nails, like everything goes really saturated. I'm working on that. So whenever you actually see me painting my nail, that's like the actual color of the polish. So this one is definitely a bit deeper and it's a really pretty purple. Then we have Adeline, which is more muted. I would say this has almost like a brown feel to it. But on and compared to the other polishes, it definitely has a purple mauve tone, even though it is sort of feeling like this could go in the brown family. Also, super saturated right there. Again, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm trying to fix the issue. And then the last polish we have is called a Marlowe. And this is the one that I feel like could be a topper, actually it should be a topper. I wore it as a topper in my swatch pictures, so I'll show you that at the end. It's really, really pretty as a topper. But if you want, you can build it up to full coverage. I, like, it was really close in two coats, but I felt like I could still see the white lines. So I went ahead and did a third coat, which there I really felt like it was a full coverage polish. So I would probably suggest three coats and that is it there is a look at this full collection so like i said i'm sorry about the like lighting issue where it goes like super saturated i'm working on it i recently switched to new camera new software and i'm working on things but there is a look all the pictures here i would say are very accurate to the polished colors so definitely go by that also i wanted to kind of put like a little like psa into the video so i recently like i mentioned earlier upgraded things new computer new phones new camera and all of that and one thing that i have noticed when switching is the difference in computer screens when i was looking at pictures on my old computer versus a new computer versus my phone there wasn't a single screen that looked the same so always keep that in mind when you are watching like nail polish videos or swatch videos or just looking at swatch pictures computer screens are going to change the way that you see a color so there may be discrepancies, I guess you could say, whenever you see a color versus like ordering it online. Definitely now since we can't go into stores to purchase things. So definitely just keep that in mind. I know I had to keep that in mind recently because I was having that issue. So yes, 
I went from a retina, no, from an LCD to a retina screen, and there was a huge difference. So depending on your type of computer screen and the type of screen that you watch videos on, definitely just keep that in mind when you are watching. I have noticed that the retina screen oversaturates things, and it's just very more warm tone. I'm not a huge fan of it, but... We're, we're gonna work with it and hopefully solve this and maybe I'm seeing some issues that you guys aren't even seeing just because I'm being super critical of the new footage. But I think that is officially it. So back to this Zoya Natural collection. This is available now. It actually released last month. It was super delayed in getting Sorry, to me. I'm having trouble here. Sorry, that was my watch. She thought I was talking to her. Um, This collection did release last month. I had troubles getting it to me. Like it hopped through a few different towns before it actually made it to me, but it is here. We've swatched it and I hope you guys find these swatches helpful. I think it's a fun collection. I really did enjoy the shade that was the sparkly one. I feel like there was a lot going on. It was kind of purple, kind of blue, kind of had some copper in there. And it can be worn as a topper or it can be worn built up. So I think that was really nice. And the others are just like really good, I would say, neutral colors. I tend to gravitate towards brighter shades, but I feel like a lot of people do like these more muted tones. Definitely in the winter months and as good bases for nail art. So, what are your guys' thoughts on this collection? Let me know down below. I'm really excited to see what Zoya does for the spring. And yeah, I think that is officially it. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!